But yeah, what's good, people? Them, you get me. You're tuned into I think episode twenty seven of the Chain Reaction podcast. You get me. My name's Prob by Walks. It's the first time I've actually referred to myself as that. But you know, to my left, I've got my man F A K Fakri. We in the building, man. And then yeah, yeah. To my now you man get. Left. Sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Now you man get to see why it's called Fakri. Look at the vibes he come on. Looks okay. like a ninja. Look at the energy. Listen, if it was nighttime, you wouldn't see this, brother. You know what I mean? GBG, you know what I'm saying? Come. What's a GBG, though? But yeah, to his left, we've got, you know, lead to the VI, lead to the bag juice in the building, you get me? And we're here for, you know, another episode. We're dead there. You know, it's on Zoom. It isn't in person. It is where it is. It gets like that. But Lee, how are you, man? Um, I'm a little bit mashed up. I can't lie. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little bit ill. Hence why I can't be around the man, them and that, you know, old age and illness, you know, you kind of walk down that road path to path or hand in hand, you know what I'm saying? But nah, all banter aside, I'm a little bit ill, so I didn't feel like traveling. Man, them, um, how's my week been? It's been entertaining, can't lie. Very entertaining. Had a very entertaining week. I'm surrounded by love, good people. Um, yeah, more money, more money, more money. Let's go. Let's we go. Let's go. That. We love that. What was entertaining about your week, though? Uh, we can't spoil the pod, bro. <laughs> like that <laughs> like that can't spoil the pod listen I swear these are topics innit you know what I mean that's what we I'm saying we started already bro no 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 man them have to get off their weeks I can't I can't you know what I mean I can't interject oh, like shit. that oh yeah, yeah, okay, oh okay 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 okay, okay, okay. Right, all right, like... all right, F. how was your week how was your week my week's been good man as usual just been with the missus and the kids and the family, really, man. Yeah. How about yours, bro? I've been struggling to sleep as usual, fam. That's just my week every week you get. Oh, yeah, your sleeping patterns are a mess. It's been like that for years, apparently. So, you know, we just live, we move with it. And we, mm-hmm. you know, we make the most out of what we got, you get. But, mm-hmm. Lee, something, mm. something monumentous happened this this past week you completed horizon forbidden <laughs> west forbidden yes. west yeah That's you know what I, I can't lie you lot pissed me off halfway through that game and now walks coming <laughs> to the stream yeah if i don't know whether you're lurking or whether you're there walks coming to the stream and influenced the fucking chat to kill one of the main characters that i wanted to see whether her and Aloy would join up and work together. You know what I'm How saying? And influence. I just said, let's do a pool. Yeah, but you knew what they were on. And I, you know, you know me. I'm like, I, I'm all for democracy, but I realize it's got to be a dictatorship around there. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Can't, <laughs> can't, you can't trust them and they're bloodthirsty, fam. Bloodthirsty. Everybody saying chef. Her. I had to chef her for the chat, but I was upset. And then, okay. and then, and then walks at the cheek to say, <laughs> When it's his turn to play the game, what he's going to do is he's going to spare her like I wanted to. You know them ones there? But, hey, <laughs> Just so you can see what happens and that it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Completing the game, it was dope. Very sick game. Very, very sick game, man. You know, um, I'm now learning to play Warzone. Walks, Walks triggered me the other day as well. I can't lie. You triggered me when you come through the stream. Man said, ah, oh, this guy's horrible. I was like, no, I'm not fucking horrible. Like, I was getting off. <laughs> I was getting bro, off. Because... Bro had no gas mask, just running into the gas and then crouching in the gas. I'm thinking, what's this guy doing? Bro, I was in a maze. I was so frustrated watching that little... Just that, that simple play there. That play there yeah. was like, what are you doing? Yeah, Forget the I, guy I'm... that's behind you right now. He's Why for that? He's not, <laughs> he's not a problem right now. It's like, get out of the gas. You know what? Like, um, I'm learning. I'm better than last time I played. Mm. You know, and I'm actually starting to understand the mechanics of the game and how it works. So, yeah, man, I'm definitely, I'm gonna become a ninja at that game. I'm definitely gonna do it. I definitely you know? um, be willing to join a couple games. I, I don't even know if I've got it downloaded, but playing Warzone mm. with, with with Lee sounds like a very entertaining evening. Oh, so, fuck off. <laughs> you're on Warzone next. Give me a shout. Get me a dub, you know? And yeah, then... you know. Hey, hey, I swear, though, the brother who looks like he should play Warzone is being awfully quiet. 
You know what I mean? And we know he don't play computer games. He does this thing in a real life, you know? I don't know what you're on about, bro. <laughs> not involved in none of them activities still. Oh, man, like Spetsnaz, you know? Listen, Spetsnaz, listen, I respect this brother so much. So much. Look at him. Look at him. Come, uh, just come dress the part. You get what I'm saying? Go on. <laughs> Do the thing. You don't know nothing. Ain't heard of nothing, though. Yeah, I respect it. I respect it. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm a family guy. I can't lie. I thought he was gonna sit off camera like, before, like he did last episode. You get me when we done the zoo thing. When I see him on camera, I'm like, okay. I'm not gonna say a <laughs> word before bro, bro has to move the chair off camera again. Oh, this episode's an NFT, man. I hear it, man. I hear it. Obviously, that's for me. We completed WWE this week. Jeez. I was not upset, not not happy with the ending. Not okay. Happy with the ending. Um, it felt like there was no ending. Oh There's shit! One mission that we couldn't do mm. because it didn't fit the storyline, so mm. we'd already got past all of that. Mm. But it doesn't tell you that that's the mission it is. You're just thinking there's one mission you can't find it. Yeah, yeah that was basically the end of the game. Right. I see. I see your somebody saying your character looked like P Money. It actually did still. If you saw the picture, definitely mm. looked like P Money. So big up P Money, my guy. But yeah, man. So speaking of disappointments, you get me. What? He's got bars. Fucking hell. Might be eight episodes this season. Eight mm, out of ten. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So ninety-five percent chance still. Ninety-five percent chance. Can you elaborate, Car? Like, what what's happening? And could you? I know you don't want to name names because it's technical and it's industry, <laughs> but like, we, as much as you can share, we would like to know, the audience would like to know. So, the person, all right, episode six was meant to be like episode four or something, but he gets on answer to push it back, push it back, cool. Why for that? But yeah. yeah, yeah, why for that? F, so they, F, they, walk they, one. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, they 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 ended up being uh, episode seven or something. Cool. Um, who was gonna do for episode six? I told them the date. They're like, oh, send me the track again so I can listen to it. They're like, oh my god, walks. I can't put this out. Like, I sound like a baby. Da da da. I don't think it's good enough. To, I'm like, oh. My so mm. they want to re-record it. Mm. The person who's meant to be episode 10, he wants to re-record it because he had an old season tracky in the vi- in the video. And... <laughs> I'm just going to shut my mouth. Um, Talk up the it, thing, bro. It... bro, um, honestly, it, I don't think artists understand like how one you can sour relationships two you know because of feelings and how you feel towards um you can i guess affect your business as well you know what i mean and understanding that you know you telling a man you know the artist has to feel comfortable we understand but you're also affecting another man's business another man's livelihood another man who's trying to put you in a position you know what I'm saying? And I get it. The artists are saying that we didn't do a good enough job. Yeah. So if you didn't come prepared, if you've been selected for some, you've been like, who's got bars is not any platform. It's a f- place where that you have to be rated by the guy who runs the platform being you walks. You get it? Like you've obviously seen something in these people. So what it means is that you bring your A game. When you have an artist that is ready, you know, like I will say, D Rose, 100%, ready for his who's got bars. Crystal, ready for who's got bars. Um, OVE, ready for who's got bars. And these are three, yeah, that I can definitely say from their performances, you get that energy from them. You know what I mean? Artists need to know that, like, you... Who's Got Bars is not funded by labels. It's not funded by, it's funded by one brother. You get what I'm saying? And so, man, them not really deep in that. This one brother has to take all these financial hits. It's not a label where they got budget upon budget upon budget upon budget. You get it? And it's tough 
and stressful for one brother to be in a situation where you, you know, oh shit, I have to push this back. You have a plan, you know what I mean? And because of those relationships and let's say, you know, integrity and love for people and not wanting to put people out there in a way they don't want to be put out there, you know, that one brother is having to take those hits. You know what I'm saying? It is, it's frustrating. You know, I look at my bro's face right now, like, and I can see the, I can see the, I can see, you know, it's for, for a man to be saying, I don't want to do season three. You know, them ones there. It's like, you I need to come. Mentally signed out ages ago still. Season bro. episode one, I was signed out still. Bro, like, you, you know, for the artist them, or anybody who's thinking, I want to use this as a platform, you honestly, when you don't come prepared, and this is what I'm saying to the artists now, when you don't arrive prepared, you're fucking things up for the next lot of people. Do you get what I'm saying? Because it makes man less likely to want to be in that situation again, to put, it takes a certain amount of trust, you understand? And this is relational, it's relational, it's relationship wise. So, you know, why should man trust somebody to spend bread out of his pocket, like taking bread out of his pocket, putting you in a situation where furthermore you can eat as well. You get it? So it's, it is a, it's a difficult fucking thing to handle, but I, I keep saying to walks that, you know, you have to learn these lessons, evolve and add them to next season. So what it means is next season, if you as an artist are coming true and you're like, oh, I need this taken off. I need that taken off. And you get told, no, nope, it is what it is. You, Walks, will have said something to you or somebody around this brother will have said something to you or contractually what you've signed will have say, look, bro, there's, these are the stipulation and who's got bars is its own platform. Whatever you negotiate over there is what you negotiate over there. You know what I'm saying? So this is how, this is how things I guess have to be, you know, cause it can't be a favoriting, favoriting and it impacting just one brother who's trying to genuinely do the right thing more so than these big entities that you're, do you understand what I mean? Do you get it? You know, that everybody's wanting to sign to. So I feel Walks' frustration and Walks, you know, us sitting down, it's not just Walks we're learning from this, it's all of us learning from this. You get it? 100%. Trust me, bro. You know, we, we watch this game and we're students of it. So, yeah, let, let, we'll just leave it there. But artists, you know, that's a message for you. If Walk send you this video, you know what time it is, isn't it? Sort it out. I'm not saying that it's a nobody. I let Listen. bro bro over here deal with this one here. He, said, he, said, he says he's better, better than me at handling all of that sort of shit. Because I just switch off, I, honestly. Bro. I can tell. Um, look at him. Look how he's dressed. <laughs> <laughs> now, honest to God, you see, you see, you see, you saying how I look. That's just me switched off, mm. like not having any energy towards it. Not even feeling a certain type of way. Not just indifferent is the perfect word. Mm. Yeah, from yeah. episode one, I've been indifferent still. So there's that. Uh, um, there you go. Here, here, here. Therapist Lee comes again. You know. No, and that is therapy, only man. listen, you know, and that is only to avoid how you feel about the situation, which is upset, which is pain, which is disappointment, which is all them things there. That's why you're feeling different. You just detach emotionally because you don't want to feel feel all that. You get it. But I'm sitting here and I can clearly see it's not right. You get it. That's it, man. You ready for to say, sir? Since you, you're the one that's been dealing with the stress recently. <laughs> it's not even stress for man though you get me walks this season as stress car he's got everything to deal with and then that on top of everything else you get it so it's mm. a lot don't get it twisted it really is a lot hey who's yeah. your buzz is cancelled <laughs> don't say that don't say and that like bro we... ima ima imagine fumes gave up with all the headache he's been through and we've Thank seen you. it. We've seen it live, Thank bro. Thank you. We've seen the headache Thank live. But look where he is now, bro. That's it. This is what I'm saying, bro. This Speaking is what I'm saying. The headache that Fumes has received. Mm. Or a, a, an entity, individual that has caused him the headache. One of those individuals would be DT5. Oh, shit. So, mm. 
recently we found out that um through some DMs that DT Five had been you know racist towards somebody, calling him the N word, calling him the P word, you know. Also said he would R someone's little sister, you know. I don't want to say. This ain't a Call of Duty lobby. What well, go on? So, obviously, word got round to me. I asked him. Word got round to everybody. I asked him directly. Mm. I was like, did you say it? He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, did you say that you would do this to my man's little sister and all of that? He just ignored it, innit? Mm. Cool. From that, I knew, yeah, boom. You, you, this is it's true, innit? Mm. Let me even go from the beginning of how me and him even know of each other. He has he used to have a page called Draw Top Five, which is what DT Five stands for, innit? Okay. Yeah. So he had a page. I must have shouted him out on my story one time, and then after that, he's asked me again at a later, a later date, can I shout him out? He's in my request folder though. So I'm, I'm, I've seen it, but I've just not paid it attention. Mm. From then, he's gotten his feelings. Start at him, man, walks, he's a prick. His opinions don't mean shit. Da, 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 da. I'm talking stories every other day, tagging mm. me and that. Yeah. I'm just like, rah, it's, it's funny how you went from like, share man love because I shared your thing to, now you hate man. Da, 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 da. <laughs> from that, I already know, yeah, boom. What type of person you are in it? Cool. So I've let you do all of your 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 campaign against walks and whatever else. Oh. People, certain people are seeing it. I don't acknowledge it. Whatever. I've not. I haven't said anything publicly. Whenever his his tag would come on and I'm reacting to the song, I just smile like I look at the camera to say. Ooh, yeah, yeah. The guy that, that everybody thinks I got beef with, I don't really care about whatever, cool. He's forwarded later on to say, to apologise, followed me, interacts with my stories and that. I don't really say much to him because I know you're fake. But I'm not, at your, I, don't, I don't care about you enough to be at your neck or whatever, cool. Mm. This whole thing's happened now. Wait. Before that, he's... He's tried to get um, Drew out. Sin Squad's manager, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah. Which is obviously we know as Widderpot. Cool. Mm. I've told him, behave with that <laughs> one there. <laughs> we know Widderpot. Like, just, you might get yourself into something you don't want to get yourself into, isn't it? Yeah. So I've told Sensei to tell him that. He's came, he's forwarded to my DMs like, or if a GM wants to um to to crash me because of da, 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 he's not he's wet or whatever I'm like ah whatever man leave me alone in it <laughs> cool this whole thing's happened he tried to get me involved in the theme thing I'm not involved whatever this whole thing's happened I'm trolling everybody else is boycotting him you're you're saying you're not reacting to no DT five songs. Mm. Space is saying if he sees him, it's on site. Is it? <laughs> Shadik's like, nah, I'm not reacting to no. Bare people like Esther's like, I'm not reacting to no DT5. Me, I'm like, I don't care. Whenever I see him, it's just fuck DT5, innit? Fuck you, Will, you bitch. Like, I'm, I'm on a troll thing, innit? Yeah, for, for me, I, I mean, you've got to really just understand the logic. Like, you can't be, like, for me personally, you know, when we always talk about things that trigger other people. You know what I'm saying? So you can't tell another person what to be triggered about, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Black, I'm black. You're black. We're all black. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't expect to say those sort of things and us not to feel a particular way and realize that you know what? In this culture, as black people, you see my platform. I don't just use it for black people. I use it for it's a culture thing. You get what I'm saying, right? It's for everybody doing their thing. Now. We as black people, we're accepting and inviting into our culture. Our culture's fucking lit. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. But don't think for a second, Kai, you're in the culture that you can open your mouth and say certain things or look down on us in any way because and one, we're not. About it. 
thank you, bro. We're not looking for your approval. We don't need you. We do our own thing over here. You know, like that. And you can't expect, you may think that it's a thing where, oh, Walks has convinced a bunch of people. No, you did something to offend a bunch of people who are black. And by, by virtue of it, all of us don't fuck with that shit. It's as, it's as simple as that. So I can't be giving no energy towards somebody who I know feels a certain way to people of my color. It's a mad thing. And yeah, he ain't, he ain't really even remorseful about it either because obviously he's been like, I, I'm cancelled but still getting placements. They're, they're kind of like gold in the bear and all of these type of things. But for me, it's like I'm not really on this internet internet shit like I'd, I've really asked my man yeah let's link up let's have a conversation he was not on it so mm. it's the end of that I'll just troll do you get what I'm saying like mm. I'm on, when the DT5 song comes on I'm like yeah fuck you Will you're, you're a bit because his real name is Will by the way oh is it okay I didn't understand I, that ironically he's got the same last name as you were going to talk about in a later topic fuck you no but <laughs> yeah I'm on a troll thing innit like the chat don't want to listen to him, but I'm on a troll thing. I don't really care. I want the boycotting, whatever in it. When we'll, we'll have a con, we'll have a, we're adults. We'll have a conversation when we see each other. This industry small. We're gonna run into each other at some point. Yeah, cool. Mm-hmm. I'm not on a boycott thing. I'm seeing, I'm seeing him be be arrogant on the internet. I'm screenshotting, laughing at it. The, 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 the he's gone onto the new Chinks usual uh, culprit song. And he's like, oh, I'm getting a lot of placements to someone that's cancelled. I'm like, you should call him an N-word since you like throwing that word around so much. He's like, as you please, sir, but deleted it, innit? Wait, cool. what? Hold up, hold up. Again. <laughs> he's commented on the the, the the usual corporate video by Chinks, yeah? Because mm. apparently he had a part in producing it. Mm. The other producers don't credit him. I don't know what's going on with that. But mm. he's commented on the video... Another placement is pretty good for someone that's cancelled, isn't it? So I've commented on the video. Well, replied to his comment. You should call him an N word since you like throwing away that throwing around that word so much. He's like, as you please, sir. By the time I was on stream, so by the time it's been brought to my attention, he's already deleted the comment, isn't it? Mm. Cool. He's he's replied to other people, giving his a road name and telling people to pull up or whatever. Oh, that's in the, in Manny. Manny, yeah. Oh, I see that. So I, d- I don't, I don't know if that's his road. I doubt it is, but that's happened. Forgotten about it now. Mm. Today, I'm just on my phone. I've seen a notification. It's saying, "Ah, oh, um, copyright takedown notice." Mm. So I'm like, I ain't had one of these in years. Like, what the fuck is this copyright notice? I'm seeing mm. like seven videos. There's a couple videos still. I'm yeah. seeing like seven videos. Manual mm. takedown by DT5 beats. <laughs> Every single one of Bro, them. Bro, I was just laughing. <laughs> I was just laughing. I was like, oh, okay. That's what you decided mm. to do. Mm. You, nah, you know what? As no, a no, troll, no, no, no. You... I, 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 I found it hilarious, bro. Do, I found you know it hilarious. What? Do you know what? I think something happened. I'm, I'm just speculating here. I can't be... 100% here, but I think something's happened. I think maybe word has got around or something that he was supposed to do or get has been, let's say, impeded by what's going on because for you to then go, oh, fuck it, I'm going to take his beats offline. Something must have happened. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's that's what that's what I believe. I can't be 100%, but, you know, that's it ain't me, what but I it's boycotted him, right? Told nobody to boycott him, so, you know? Everybody has their own mind, man. And, you know, in general, I don't fuck with that shit. You can't be using them words and expect man to be... It, it. You know what? Like, I think the thing is, like, as I've become more educated on our culture, you can't be in this this um, space and this... Um, this um, yeah, you can't do what we do and not become more educated about what we do. So... You know, there, there was a time way back when I used to listen to K-, K Coke and, you know, he'd use the word and I'd get hyped. Today, it's not that energy, bro. You understand? I'm a much more educated brother. I'm much more aware of the things that 
we have to go through as black people. And that comes through conversations like these, like with my peers, you know, online, all these things that we have been exposed to over the last, what, four or five plus years as reactors, you know what I'm saying? And so you can't, you, you cannot come through this culture and think that, you know, those things are going to be okay. You, it's, oh, you know, you could lose your temper with somebody that's calm. But to get to a point where you're trying to, you're trying to devalue man because of the color of his skin. You understand? Like make man, man appear as less because of something that, because of words that were made up hundreds of years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like you feel you want to, you want to, you want to throw on somebody, you know, you want to use slurs, P word, you know what I'm saying? And this, and then you want to go to like, listen, it's, it's, I'm a believer in people can grow and people can learn, but until man sees growth, acceptance, apologies, learning, I don't want to hear it. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? I really don't want to hear it. For me, I'd, I'd have to have a face-to-face conversation with a gentleman. Mm. That, that, that's the only way there, there mm. could any be any, ever on my side any sort of closure. Mm. Man to man, let's have a conversation. You get mm. After that, whatever happens, happens. But conversation mm. needs to be had. Car. Yeah. Although, nah, it's, it's, like, if the channel got taken down, I'm sure it's not really that hard to get it back up. Do you get what I'm saying? It's, it's someone yeah. that's been petty in, you know, yeah, Wooks is trolling me. Let me give him a couple copyright strikes. I see but, what you try to do. Good move. Yeah, whatever. But that would backfire on him big fucking time because like we've just spoken about before, your channel is not about just you. It's about a whole entire chunk of the scene that needs your platform, bro. Mm-hmm. Get it. It's not just about you. And this is the thing with the reaction channels. Reaction channels, they're not just about the individuals on them. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. There's a whole um there's a whole part of the scene that we feed a whole part of the scene that we explain you know i i me myself i've realized that i talk to a lot of international people bro you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. you know, i talk to a lot of people who don't understand drill when i come into drill or uk rap or whatever it is i'm talking about that day for the first time do you get it mm-hmm. you know and there's a service in that and it keeps our scene expanding it keeps fans coming back to our scene you would shut down a platform that has so much fucking impact because of your feelings over that. that I don't like, I, I think that would backfire on man big time because it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? Do you know what I mean? I don't think like, he, like, oh, it's not really care though. Like he was DT fan to them type of thing. Like, yeah. Like, no. Yeah. If, but if, the instrument, yeah. If, if I've already got a song out, I really got a mm. song that's, that's around about to forward. Fuck what he's done. I'm getting through it in my plans. You get what I'm saying? Like, Mm. That's, mm. that's just the and way I, it is I'm, I'm, I'm more speaking on the removal of a platform that help that has the potential to help further that you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. you know and furthermore you're in an industry where you're putting strike on a black man's channel again after you've done said all the things you've said do you get it it's what it's crazy to me you know what I'm saying because because a black man is upset with you using the n-word which he should rightly so be upset then you in a in a industry where you were profiting, working alongside black people, you then say, "Oh, there's this one black brother I don't like, so I'm taking his thing down." Bro, like, man, are not saying I'm 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 an older gentleman. I'm never on the pull up and crash thing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just like, peep, peep the logic, peep the logic, man. It don't, it don't, it don't really look too good. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it is what it is, man. He's a clown, man. That's how I feel about it, man. Fuck DT5, man. Hey, fuck you, Will, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Will. Hey, hey, uh, nah, I, nah. I ain't talking about my boy Smith either. Hey, no, no, no. We talking about Will Smith. <laughs> fuck you, Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, if I if I was Chris Rock, I would have slapped you, Will, you bitch. No, 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 not Will Smith the actor. We're talking about Will Smith DT5. Like, I rate, I rate Chris Rock though. Like, 
Imagine what would have happened if it went the other way, like if they both started scrapping on stage. Maybe this Will Smith should find out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the rated awards or something, DT Five man. Walk on stage in that. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. But I just we you know what. I just let you know once if ain't no way in hell walks is scrapping and I'm not jumping in there, you mud. Listen, yeah, 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 yeah. my seat from the balcony, you'll find me drop down, hurt myself and go <laughs> to the stage, fam. For Listen. me, that's, that's no question. That's automatic. You were just oh, like, 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 that's automatic. <laughs> like, 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 you just hope that I'm with a certain crowd. <laughs> If if you try to do that, because like like if someone tries to pull up and sub, you'd hope he's with double Ray and then <laughs> if he's with the Africa crowd, you know. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> what crazy to be? Dillian White's lawyer and Frank Warren, they've been going back and forth on Talk Sport. Have you seen it? I saw the start of it, but I had things to do. I couldn't really take it in. Dillian. Wa- I heard um, Johnny Nelson saying that Dillian White is being ta- is being treated shabbily. Those were his words. Mm-hmm. On um, I think it was IFL or some sort of mm-hmm. interview. Mm-hmm. Um, did you see it? On the no, I ain't seen it. You ain't seen it. Um, so the gist of it was um, Frank feels like they are not honouring their part of the contract. Um. Dylan White's lawyer feels like we had a time period in which we had to sign it and we signed it based on the advi- the advisement from Frank Warren's son that we would be able to discuss certain parts of the contract in further detail. So mm-hmm. those type of things were an escrow account, account with the funds in it, um, comp tickets, so he would be able to buy tickets and give to people that he would want. He's only been given five or six tickets apparently. Mm-hmm. Whereas... As opposed to Tyson Fury, which was apparently given 10,000 tickets. Those allegedly don't. So those type of points were what he was bringing up. And mm. Tyson Fury, um, Frank Holman is basically like, well, in the contract, this clause says that he has to reasonably promote this fight on his social media and he's posted nothing. Mm. Well, his lawyer's like, define reasonably. <laughs> you know, like that. So it's a bit of a tit for tat, like, if you're not mm. going to honour your word type thing, we're not going to honour. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? We're just going to mm. turn up and scrap. Um, You know, Tyson Fury's fans were just dissing his lawyer and all of these type of things. And You know how it goes, man. It's it's us versus them, basically. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean by us versus them. 100. Of course. They won't be treating um, a fighter like this. Let's, let's be real. Um, I think, you know... You got to realize, like, when men are talking in your ear, yeah, and saying A, B, and C, the only negotiation that matters is that piece of paper that you sign. I ain't no verbal. Man Man will chat shit to you and say, oh, yeah, we'll sure, we'll get... No, it needs to be written down in that contract. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think every time we listen to artists complain about contracts, we listen to so many different people, you know, like here in the UK, like fumes of producers, da-da-da, like complaining about contracts. You know, and it is down to what you sign. I feel for Dillian White because we know in this mega fight, man's being low-balled, man. Do you get what I'm saying? Being low-balled. And he's only being treated that way because he is who he is. But I respect him for standing on his two, big up his lawyer, even though we know lawyers are more opportunistic, you know? So may, let's say, antagonize a situation to earn compensation because you know how it goes, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But for Dillian, big up for standing on your own too. Big up for not turning up to certain press conferences and all this. Because you, like, you can't, like, pay me like that. I've, but Dillian's been so calm, fam. I like So calm. He's been waiting for a fight for how long? You guys have been treating this brother so fucking wrong. You've had so many, so while well, this big fight here has been made, that big fight there has been made this, and now it's time for man's payday. You're trying to take the piss out of his life. Nah, mate. No, sir. We know we know that, yeah, eight million's a lot of money, but when you think of after tax, you think of what he nets, then you think of what he has to pay his manager. You think of what, do you understand? You're looking, you know, after all of that, maybe Dillian walks Just away before, with a- before the, before the comments eat you up, he is his own manager. He is his own manager. Yeah. Carry on. 
Okay, fair enough. You got what I'm saying? Then, so you're talking about after tax, let's say about what, 8 million, let's call it about- 40%, equal, I swear. 40%, you to, so you're talking 40% about- 40% in tax. Uh, around about, a bit under five, maybe a bit under five, you know what I'm saying, around five. Do you get it? Um, it's still a lot of money, still a hell of a lot of money. Training camp. But- Yo, bro, come on, man. Cost, expenses, all of these things. You got what I'm saying? Security, ETC. Like, listen, man, I, I don't... I think that, you know, they need to... They need to treat the brother better, you know? He should have he should have been earning towards... For me, Dylan, you know, a reasonable sum. You can chuck at least four onto that. Do you know what I'm saying? At least a four onto that. And it's a fight where they can find the money for it. It's you know what I'm saying? His argument and his beef has been cool as the interim champion of the wbc you're entitled to a 45 percent split when mm. when you're um going towards purse bids okay when you're a mandatory challenger you're interim champion if it's um i think it's like 30 percent if you're just a mandatory they've mm. given him 20. Yeah. so he's like yo no. No, how have i gone two steps down like from mm. 45 to 30 to 20. Like, what the hell is going on here? Like, this don't mm. make no sense. So that, that's, that's, that's the way he's looking at it, isn't it? So, 8 million, yeah, it's a lot of money. But compared Definitely. to what he is he entitled to buy the rule book, mm. you could, mm. that's a lot of money you're missing out on. You get me? 45% of 40 million, bro. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Even 30% of that. Which is your when yep. you're saying the extra four? Do you get? Like, why? Why is it him though? You know what I'm saying, bro. And this is, you know, you people will look at you and determine your value off of what they see currently. You understand? Like, but it's for Dillian White to determine his own value and for what he will stand for and what he won't. And so, fully respect his stand. I'm fully behind him, boy. Card these man, Frank Warren. Like, you no, know, them man have been making money for decades, decades and decades and decades, man. You know what I'm saying? So Time it's for not us like to get some bread. The bro, we listen, man. But yeah, battles, battles that have been fought in the public eye recently. We've had one or as additional one over the weekend. Um, one that had Lee in stitches. One that had F in stitches. You know. Um, keep my name, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm gonna you put know? that on the. T. I'm gonna put that on the tee. I hear you. I swear, I swear down. I hear you. Chris Rock and the other Will Smith, the one we respect. Um, <laughs> he's he, he he got into a uh, altercation at the Oscars mm. and slapped a man in the face. Mm. You know? Um, how do you not feel about the incident? What's going on? Chat to me. First of all, I'd like to say that was a very real moment. There's a narrative going around that was fake, but nah, I've looked at it. Very real moment, man. Um, Oscars. Can I play the devil's Go advocate? Go for it, man. How do you explain him laughing at the start? Like he looked comfortable with the joke at first. Yeah, bro. We've all been around man them who've gone through something and been like, ha ha ha, and then actually deep. Now that wasn't ha 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 though. No. No, that was no, no, a genuine. No. That looked like a genuine one, though. You know what, bro? It could be a genuine one for you, but then when you look on your wife and your wife, you've had conversations with your wife at home. You know what gets to her. You know what hurts her. And look, and and F F can attest to this because he's married. It, that empathy kicks in and be like, no, that's my wife, and this is something she's talked about at, at home. You get it? And then it's like it can also tie into because i feel like will was under a hell of a lot of pressure being jada's husband you know what i'm saying you know 100 <laughs> like he's under a hell of a lot of pressure you get it Def you know? i don't think you know i think the the term bad wife has kind of become synonymous with um jada and the public perception of their relationship we don't know what goes on behind closed doors you know but Coming online where like Will Smith does, we know he's online, we know people are up in his comments. Like it's gotta be affecting his mental health. And all I know he I know he genuinely loves her. I think he genuinely loves her, but No, he does. I she, he does. 
Yeah, and with that, you know, they've. I feel like, you know, in their relationship behind closed doors, she's definitely apologised to him and said, you know what, Will, I'm sorry. Because they, do you understand what I mean? Like, you couldn't, you could, could you, could you be in a relationship and see your partner, things that you're going through, like you post Tupac on his birthday and you're just like, yo, you got to know, you got to know that, that, that is going to cause, it's funny, I was talking to my little sister yesterday, right? And I said, you as a woman, right? You got to know that I even even in my position as somebody who's in social on social media, imagine I got a friend and I say, you know, that friend passes and I say she was like a sister to me. Right. But people are aware that I have you as a sister. You get what I'm saying? Right. And that person was an op to you. You get it. People are going to be like, well, you know, that, you know, why ain't Lee respecting his sister? I've got to take your feelings into consideration, you know? You get what I'm saying? And if you say you, if, if not just a love thing out of respect, you can appreciate, I, you can appreciate somebody in your private, in the privacy of your own home. You get it? You know, you can, you can do that. Uh, we, we definitely can blame um, Will on this as well, because he yeah no 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 so slap why, why are you looking at let me, me? <laughs> let me land let me land because when you look at like the red table talk and i'm talking the general perception of their relationship right when you look at the red table talk will sat there and agreed to do it yeah and he also would have sat there and watched the edit or not watched the edit you get what i'm saying accountability mm. me that you have chosen to take an part in something that is going to harm the perception of your relationship. You get it? I know he loves his wife. No, bro. No, bro. Hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah. You would have seen that footage back walks and been like, I don't want that to go out there. That's not going out there. You know them ones there. Change the edit. Cut this out. Do this. You know how we have a pod here, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? We're fully aware of post-production, bro. Do you get it? Like accountability. <laughs> Accountability means that you're like, no, you know what? I know what that can do or maybe what that will do f further down the line. You know what I mean? Some things you just let go because you don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? But some things you have to think of a thing of where you're protecting your relationship. This is not just, and for them too, this is not just a podcast between friends. This is somebody who has to wake up next to somebody in the morning. This is, you understand what I'm saying? This is, it's deeper than that, bro. Do you get it? So accountability in regards to, you know, things that have affected their relationship and the public perception of their relationship is on both of them. You understand? It's on the both of them. But most definitely, Jada has done, I think, more harm to the perception of Will as a man, as a father, and as a husband just due to what feels like a lack of care and respect for Will's feelings. You get it? And all of this pressure that's on top of Will that Will has to sit there and see these memes and people talking about him and people saying, talking about August Alcina and this, this, that and the other and blah, blah, blah. You know, you're going to get to a point of why am I the butt of the jokes? Why is everything that goes, you know what I'm saying? And you may have sat down and had these conversations with your wife and your wife is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And you've forgiven her and you come to a good place, but you're still the butt of the jokes. And now Chris Rock is up there on stage and he says something funny and you've laughed, turned around, looked to your wife and the therapy sessions and all this have kicked in and you've been like, nah, I got to back my thing." Man said, fuck it. Got up, walked to the front. He didn't even know what he was going to do. But you know what? Bow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I walked off stage. Listen, I don't... It was the... From a, on a personal note, it tickled me so <laughs> much. For my girl. Like, hey, listen, it tickled me so fucking much. Like, was he right or wrong? You know, it's debatable. You know what I mean? But it's a man. It's 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 a mad thing. What, man, then would would you have taken Will's actions? This is what I want to know. Before you go there, I want to ask you a question. Do you think the joke warranted that reaction? No. How the joke did go on, go on, Lee. The, the joke didn't warrant that reaction, but Will Smith in the privacy of his relationship, looking at his wife, understanding what his wife's struggling with and conversations that we are not privy to, to them, 
may have. That means Chris Rock wasn't privy to it. Like I said, like I said, it's it's a you know what one thing I I rarely do you know we ban our walks but I you know in my per personally when we're off mic I don't I don't joke with people when it comes to their appearance or how they look. Kai, you never know what someone's going through or what they're dealing with. Do you know what I mean? You it's up to hey, you as a comedian. Man. Listen to his reactors, this from hey my man from <laughs> hey my said, man from. <laughs> Hey, said, my with... man, fam. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> I, I don't in, yeah, I don't really do them kind of things. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, you, you you're have not a comedian, be... though. I'm definitely it's not a comedian. It's tradition when comedians are on stage and they see celebrities in the crowd, they pick fun at them. Mm. That's they, they got that's... paid. That's what they got paid to do. Yeah, that's, that's what they do. And usually, I... people are good sports. I obviously they've known each other for years. Chris Rock, mm -hmm. Jada Pinkett, Will Smith. I yeah. don't know if he knew that she had alopecia. No, I never you know, knew. A, a lot of people don't know. I never knew. Mm. Um, I don't think it's common. Yeah, I don't. So, so it's possible he didn't know. Mm. If he, if he didn't know, can you really be mad at him? Um, it's not. It's 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 one of them ones again. Walks like. You can't tell them how to feel. Facts. No one can tell Will how to feel, yeah. You can't tell him how to feel. Fam, if I love my wife, I'll snuff you out if you if you look at her wrong, fam. You know what I'm saying, bro? Sure, it's a pull like, man up. That's a pull man up after. Yeah, I hear it. It could have been, yeah. been handled better, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I'm not mad bro, at how I, it was. Just pat her, pat her on the <laughs> I'm leg. Not like. now, I'm hey, not the outcome, I'm outcome's not a moment, either. isn't it? The outcome's a moment, cool. But Energy. pat my man on, on, on that, pat your wife on with that. I'll handle this. Like later on, boom, yo, bro. I I like that. The the you said that publicly. Like she's got this condition. That like, can you apologize publicly? Since you know what I'm saying, boom. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Car when in in Chris Rock's apology, he said he mentioned that they're friends. Mm. Do you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm. And f in Chris Rock, yeah. You can't do anything in that position. You've been paid by what DJ Khaled would be called them. Yeah? You've been paid yeah. by them. They. Like they, they, yeah. they. If, if you fuck up, you're not mm -hmm. getting that opportunity again. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You, mm -hmm. like, that's, bro, now you're putting, because you're, you're, you've been paid by them. You've been hired to do a job, you're putting them at liability to a certain extent, do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't do nothing in that situation. You have to... He, I know people are commending him for the way he, he handled what happened, but he had to. Otherwise, it's, there's, there's tremendous financial implications for him. That's yeah. true, but some people don't think about that at that moment in time. He's a grown 50-plus-year-old man. He's got... You know yeah. them ones there? That's why I said it's true, but yeah. some people, it would have went the other way, bro. Yeah, when they're our age. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? When they're our age. August Alcina's fighting back. Yeah, you see, uh, what I got to say is, it, it's, it's a, like, Chris Rock, he had a moment where I believe he was like, okay, and he was like, he could have gone in, but he decided to, nah. And furthermore, like, Sometimes when be heard until August. <laughs> oh Jesus, Jesus! That sometimes when you're faced with the physicality of someone as well, you know you kind of know where you're at. Like you look at Chris Rock and look at Will Smith, right? It's it's literally I want to say it's not a David and Goliath thing, but you know if they if they got down into it, like my money's on Will Smith. You know that you got what I'm saying. And having your ass beat about a stage before security can come and get can come and get you. It's not really when you're faced with it, it's just like, oh shit. It was like they went back to the school playground. Chris knew in that moment where he was, how his size, all of them things Bro. factor into it. As he as he as Will Smith walked away, it's like he actually had to take a moment and deep what had happened to him. Do you know what I mean? Like he had to deep, and that's a moment where you can either, let's say, get into your feelings or deal with it as a strong man. And you just saw how strong the character of Chris was. Man was actually cracking jokes, fam. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, and that I fully respect the bag. You know, look at what's happened to the price of his ticket since then. You get what I'm saying? Bro, is it going up? What? Bro, 45 to 300 and something dollars. It's gone to, they were 46 or 45 a ticket. Now they're so like this is actually benefited him. Yeah, they've gone up by like 200%, something like that. That's what they said. You, do you think that this brother is not getting a Netflix special? Bro, everybody wants to know what he has to say on this matter. <laughs> Bro, I want to know. You know, you know, like everybody's waiting for Stormzy's this, this, album. This just shows you Twitter, Black Twitter, and shit, fam. There's Bro. something bigger out there in, in, in this world, fam. What the Bro. hell? Bro. No. No, but bro, deep black, it like that, you know. Bro, black pe- people, we set the pulse of the culture, fam. In the no, Western world, what I'm world. saying is, in black Twitter, Chris Rock's just the butt of the joke right now. Bro, so many platforms apparently have hit up Will Smith to talk about the matter. He said, "No, he's going on Red Table Talk to talk about." It. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't got his enough PTSD yet. So, you, you know what? It, it's a, it's a mad thing. Car, if they can get Chris Rock to appear around the table. That'd be brazy. That'd be brazy. But if I was Chris, I would, I would decline, and do a comedy special. Personally, you know what I mean. Personally, I would say, you know, Will, you slap me, calm with me, <laughs> but I gotta write some bars. Yeah, <laughs> cool. We're we're cool as friends, but I gotta write some bars. Cause you can't box me on stage in front of everybody and f- expect me to walk off like Gandhi. And then I'm profit off it of red table talk. Huh? Yeah, and then profit off it off by red table. Red table. No, because you know niggas are tuning in, and that's bringing yeah, yeah revenue so to that's that. That's why I said, why would I go to any other platform? No, I'm saying, I'm I... saying, yeah, I'm saying from Chris Rock's point of view, you can't slap me on stage, and then further profit off it through oh. red table talk, <laughs> and oh, with, I not go to get it. my bag. You get, it? you know what I'm saying? So cool. If Bro. anybody gonna crack jokes about August Alcina, about everything. Yo, if Chris Rock went that down that route of destruction. Could've got, could've got, could've got very, very Hi, peak. Chris Rock, it's the fact when he said, what did he say? It was a G.I. Jane joke, like. So basically telling him, like, I could've went in if I wanted to, bro, like. Mm. <laughs> I could've mentioned No, nah, no, nah, even you, he's like, yeah, that, this one was light. This one was <laughs> yeah, light. Like, <laughs> after, this is light, which it was. Bro, and until you figure out that she got an alopecia, so you're like, oh, bro. yeah, yeah. I, I respect it's like you can kind of respect their actions on both sides, and I mean, like, you can respect Will's audacity and rebellious nature to look at his woman and be like, yo, fuck this, I'm not following any rules here. We're supposed to sit down this way, and you're supposed to insult my wife because we don't know what's going on in their household. You got, uh, as, a, as a man, you know, and I ask this to you, F, I don't think anybody, if if someone's being insulting towards your wife and you know she feels like she's insulted because you know her, bro, like, what are you doing? You have to fend that. It's, no, we, man, man them say provide and protect, right? Facts. You get what I'm saying? Maybe it's not always active behavior, but that has to be nipped in the bud. Your woman has to know she was with someone who can be like, yo, brother, don't do that shit. You know what I mean? Oh, and respectfully well, from man to man, you can, you know, you can be like, yo, brother, relax. Because the next time somebody doesn't relax, then it's hands. You know what I'm saying? Do you get it? That's, that, that's, that's all. That, that's, that was Will basically letting everyone know. Mm, yeah. Like, definitely. I see, I see all you trolls online, but face to face, it's not that. Do like, you get it? Mm, mm, mm. Otherwise, it's smoke, basically. Mm, mm. I mean, what what are you walks yourself like you know you you're in a relationship you love this woman fam you know that when you know that things being said about the relationship even i'm sure jada is hurt by the public perception of her as well as a bad wife you know what i'm saying or or at least some people thinking she's i'm sure she's hurt at that because on some level she definitely loves will as well you get it so yeah i know you know but <laughs> But it's like people make mistakes. You understand? People make mistakes and it's for people to learn from those mistakes if you really want to make something work. And obviously they're trying to make what they have work. I don't believe being so public with their relationship is good for them or the children. You know what I'm saying, bro? Do you get it? Like we, we've said this walks like imagine like ima- you. Okay. 
they have an open relationship, right? And Jada did not cheat on Will, right? But where she went to do what she had to do was you went she for your son. Something. She yeah, she done uh, something. Man, but a where man, she... a man said, a man said, I was never going to talk to you again. So she done something. Mm, mm, something that mm. we, we we don't know. She done something. Bro, like, but you went and you went to your son's friend. Yeah. That's crazy. You went to your son's friend. You didn't you didn't say, let me select this outside of my circle. You went inside your circle and you went to your son's friend. That also, your son has got to be feeling some sort of way. Of course. You of can't, course. bruv, imagine having um um a mother that that is, you know how women get devalued quickly because, <laughs> bro, I gotta say it, bro. Women get devalued quickly because of a perception of a lack of faithfulness. Do you understand? Because yeah. their relationship was broken up at the time. It's just a perception. It's not even actual. She was unfaithful. It's just a perception of a lack of faithfulness. Everybody's like, "Will you're supposed to have this energy for August Alcina?" Do you get it? But technically, they weren't together. But the 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 harsh no, no, part no. of it, no, they've no, said no, it. No. It was broke. No, no, no. They've no, said no, it. It's public. It was said. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> the but the but the public perception is that okay, you slept with this dude, and it makes because women are held to women are held to a much higher standard. It's it means that okay, immediately, oh, Will ain't on his job. She's cheating on this, is that, and the other. And people ain't really listening. You get what I'm saying? And understanding what's going on. She the said only, that too. the only, the only nasty thing in this is that for me is like, it, there's a couple nasty things. It's how it was handled, I hate and <laughs> and I'm not mad at that statement, and um, <laughs> and how she. You know, how, where she chose to go and do that. You got, what, what go on for your son, man? Come on, man. Even oh, if you mad at what, what go on for your son? That son. How are you going to tell the world your husband doesn't satisfy you, fam? Crazy guy. Hey, no, oh, Bro's got the flask in man. Hey, Chris Rock should have went ham with them jokes, fam. Fam, this is the thing, bro. One of her insecurities. It... Did she care about Will's insecurities? Fuck Jada, bro. This is the thing, bro. Like, Will... No, it's true, but Will loves her, isn't it? So... Like, he's going out sad, bro. It's true, bro. Nah, 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 That's, nah. that's um, his wife, that's the Will mother Smiths of Will Smiths are just kids. out here taking L's. Bro, that's his Feliz wife, Will that's Smith the mother taking of the L right now. This, you get me? Nah, you know what? Uh, I think Will... It's, bro, it's, I think... Go on, go on, sorry, F. It's easy to say from the outside looking in, but... If you are in that situation, bro, it's, it's not easy. Trust me, fam. If it's in Love that situation, it. what are you doing? I don't know what I'd do. I'm you're not cutting, in that situation, bro. bro. I know you. You're cutting. <laughs> I'm not in that you're situation. You're cutting, F. This is why you're laughing. Bro, I'm not F, in that know situation. yourself. F. You're cutting. But F, all, all, what I do know, right, and I know this for every man here, you know, car. I keep good brothers around me. And one, when you're in love, it's a lot it's a lot more difficult. You know, we can all sit here and say, I would have done this or I would have exactly done that. Exactly that. But you don't the, know until you're in the situation. Bro. I know F. First hand. I know F. Bro, I thought yeah. I knew a lot of people. I thought I knew Will Smith, bro. You never, <laughs> Will Smith. You never went with Will Smith. I've known you for 20 plus years, my boy. Bro, yeah. watching Fresh Prince, I felt like I knew Will Smith, my guy. No, no, I've known what? you for 20 plus I know but you, bro. But you know what, Wooks? Yeah. Well, there are some things that F will deal with with his wife that he won't he won't speak up about. Do you get what I'm saying? Of course, because that's there's, 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 there's certain things but, in your relationship you keep. But, but, that. but exactly, exactly, that's the difference, right? Because and this is why I say Will has to be held accountable as well because you're allowing certain media to go out there where you look. The people are using it to use you as, as the pain meme. You're allowing certain. You understand what I mean? And you He's are taking part. Pain. Yo, accountability is a real thing, you know. You get what I'm saying, bro? You're sitting in situations that you could... Because you want to support your wife and because you love your wife, I'm sure these are the reasons he's putting that out there. But you're, you've got to get to a point where you actually protect. You know, you actually protect. And protecting isn't walking up on stage and slapping somebody in the face. Protecting is like, you know what, babe? 
let's not put this out there. Let's actually get to a space of, you know, where she's we want a Kardashian, bro. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Um, and I guess she's trying to start her career and move up there. Maybe. I hope not, but maybe I, I doubt it. It's a media play. It's just it's just too messy, man. It's too messy. But Jade, uh, you know, as we found out, is very messy. She's very messy, you know. And w- this is a thing. Like I don't mind. You can be my wife and be messy. I would prefer not. But you could be my wife and be messy as long as it's part between us two. You know them ones there. Do you get it? Like as long as it's in yeah. privacy, because it's like at the end of the day, you love who you love in it. You get what I'm saying? And us men, it's like, you kind of have to learn to accept your woman for who she is, not who the idea you kind of have in your head. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's like, okay, you would hope that her movements don't harm your children. Do you get what I'm saying? Because that's another thing that, that'd get me fucking, yeah, that, that, that'd be fucking upsetting. You know what I mean? But when, you, when it comes to love, love is, you know, everybody sits down and says, I look at all these um, podcasts that go about these Kevin Samuels, this fresh and fit, all of these things. And it's just like, love is the X factor that you don't, you know, man them say, okay, they talk about the rules of the game, but then walks, I lie, you've made exceptions for people who, because you cared about them in situations where technically Somebody was said, nah, you should have done this, or you should have done that, or you should have done this, or you should have done that. Listen. That shit were in public, though. <laughs> I hear that. I hear that. Yeah. Yo, that shit were in public, though. I you hear know. that, man. That shit behind I, I, closed doors. Yeah, man. You got what I'm saying? I think there's a situation where I would wa- watch Walks get up and slap a, slap a boy on stage. You got what I'm saying? But Walks would slap a boy for less. You got what I'm saying? Facts. So... <laughs> Fact. You know, I don't know where you're not going with this fact shit, for No cap. <laughs> listen, man. This fact shit. listen, man. <laughs> listen, man. This fact shit. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. conscious of that shit. I'm very conscious of a, a, a partner putting me in a position where I can draw myself out. Yeah, car. Yeah. Who's taking care of my family when 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 I go to the lengths that pe- you lot are saying that I'll go to? Do you get what I'm saying? Folks, you've said it plenty of times, like. You can deal with yourself being violated, but like the ones you love, yep, you've said it plenty of times. Before. Yeah, but I'm still conscious of if you keep putting me in those positions. Yeah, if you yeah. put me in a position, I hear you. Though. For me to when just it's a repeated thing, yeah, I to, hear for you me still. to to either lose my freedom or my life, mm. I have to you watch, look. You have to look. Mm. At yeah, you have, you to, have to, to. Yeah, and if that conversation has been had, it's like you know you got. You got to, as, as, what do we say about respect in it? Like, respect in it is just like, yo, let me not put my man in this position. I know I feel this way right now, but let me, let me, let me actually listen to what my man's saying. You get it? Because at the end of the day, women. But wait, can... at the Oscars, she didn't put him in that situation, though. He just looked over at her and he saw that she oh, was upset. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. You're 100% right, technically, but she's put in public with a <laughs> Yeah, get you get it? Like, what did you say, bro? Two pack with a shot. If ah, oh, come on, that's a meme, bro. <laughs> but, oh, but that, thing. but that counts, F. That counts. Like, it's the public perception of their relationship, G. That puts pressure on Will, and unbalances him speech? to. The... Yo, huh? do you hear his speech? What's mm. the, the when he won the Oscar. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he's basically saying it, bro. You have he's to take a beat. It. You have to take this. You have to take that. Don't don't think that's just. He's talking about online, the public perception. Exactly. I've been, I've been, yeah, I've, that's, that's I've been feeling he, the pressure he, to protect. That's I've been what fe- I said. You know what he, saying? he was tired of being a punching bag, bro. He's like, yeah, bro. man. You you were putting that love letter to so this guy. Like, I gotta be more like him, basically. Fuck it, man. But but Jade has got to see that, and Jade has got to realize that if if the brother, your husband, was crying at the front of the stage, man. And him talking about being, going through abuse and going through all these things. Don't think that this shit that you're seeing online ain't affecting him. Do you get Let's it? Go to the village quickly. If you look at any, any girl and you, you're feeling like you relate to any of these messages or anything that Jada has put Will through, please run. It's not worth it. You'll find another one. 
Aye, this is it's a serious working. case. Wilkes has got up and got started <laughs> positioning the mic, and you get <laughs> <laughs> just run, please, because these girls are treacherous and they will ruin you. Uh, it's a treacherous They're world, ruining, man. Like, like Will's ruining himself, battling at, at 50 plus, battling his in, in, internal demons and who he should be as a man because of this woman. Don't do it to mm. yourself. Don't I do it to yourself. And she's all high and mighty on our red table talking to all these things. Like, she can never be wrong. Don't do it to yourself. Run. It's it. the thing. Protect, preserve the... Your, your peace. Protect your peace. Please, mm. it. If they I... ain't your peace, run. Is it me? I... I think she owes Will a public apology. You know them ones there. So at least she the owes public him peace. <laughs> um, <laughs> she owes Will a public apology. So at least the 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 people in the world can see that she does respect him and she does love him. Because if if they don't see that, all, all people, you know, I was in a group chat and one of my boys was just saying. But she took dick from August. That's it. That's it. he couldn't get over it. You get it? Like, yo, do we know who Will has slept with? Do we know? We don't. Know. We, we don't. That's the it's point. It's not public news. Get That's it? The point. Okay. So Jada didn't put it out there. Yeah, she didn't put it out. But there. you chose but... who? Yeah, yeah. And women are good judge of characters. So you know what type of person you are. Yeah, Zimmy. But what? What it is it? She went, you know, for whatever reason, she chose August. Yeah, she's a predator. Oh, that's why she chose August. And in choosing she August, August, it but in choosing August, she prayed really like it, it's like a, it, it just showed like I'm selfish and I only really care no about me. talking about that, you know, huh? Yeah. She, 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 she went for a mentally ill person suffering. With, with with health issues that's who mm. she chose so she was consoling I'm, this person making sure mm. that they get back to their full health you're saying she she groomed them and you know what yeah i hear that but she also mentioned what? It on her... <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's she also... hey, hold on hold on she also mentioned it on um her red table talk where she was like you know he was going through a lot he was she didn't i don't think she tried to dodge that aspect of the accountability still you know what I mean? I think she kind of. So what, what? It's okay just because she admitted it. I'm not saying it's okay. I'm okay. not saying it's okay. I think, you know when we were talking about earlier about change, change behavior, and the lessons you learn through things you go through. Mm-hmm. How do you know that's change your... behavior? I don't. I haven't seen anything that's changed. I... Um, I think supremely, I think Jada is a selfish person and a little bit oblivious as to. So are we how... defending her? Fuck her, Chris Rock. You're my guy. Nah, it's not, it's not that bro. It's, you know what I respect and I, you know, I have a soft spot for Will Smith. Yeah. Why for that? But I have a soft spot for Will Smith, right? Because he is part of me growing up. He set the tone for UK culture, for jokes, for all of them things during that whole Fresh Prince era. He's done movies. He's been, he's, he's definitely one of the black people that growing up, I looked up to. Do you know what I mean? You know, whether- you know what I'm saying? So, and and so the things he achieved, and the things he achieved in Hollywood. So, excuse me if I'm gonna hand this brother a pass. You know what I'm saying? Cause yes, he's got issues he needs to deal with, and him and his wife need to deal with. I think they need to back off on the being public about every aspect of their relationship. I think Jada really needs to relax, man. Can't you can't you can't sit there and it's like why does Will have to catch strays because of the shit you do? Do you get it? And that's why that's the most befuddling thing to me. This fam. this this goes back to a conversation that I had. Well, I showed I showed, I had a conversation with a friend, and I showed it to F because F told me I'm not even gonna say what F told me. But <laughs> I don't even know what conversation bro's talking but, about. But yeah. I got a question for you, Lee. Do you, okay. do you play chess? Yeah, I play chess. What what's the more what's the most important piece on the chessboard? The king. Would you akin chess to life? Oh, that conversation. Definitely. You gotta think in moves if you gotta have a plan, you gotta strategize. Most definitely. I run a business, bro. 
So would you say this queen is protecting her king or is it already checkmate? I would say this up until life isn't directly like chess, but you can get better at the game. So far, the game she's been playing has not been protecting her king. <laughs> but hopefully, and I give these couple, I give this couple an out because they're within this, they're an integral part for me at this moment in time of black culture when I think of it. You know what I mean? And I, me. yeah, you know, I think that, you know, I love the way, sorry to take this off the topic, but I love the way that the black celebrities kind of handled it, the way they spoke to him, you know, like it was an in-house family thing. You know, Puff Daddy was like, nah, they spoke together backstage, doing all the media, doing all the media bit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, they spoke together backstage, this is that and the other and blah, 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 you know? I think that that is, um, I love the way it's handled. So for me, I think that those two, they, they've got to, she's really got to start and I did, I put up a photo, um, I used it as my DP for a little bit, of the photo they took with him with the Oscars, the Oscar. And he's holding the Oscar and she's sort of leaning on him, smiling, like almost like my hero. She needs to, she needs to, she needs to kind of play that. <laughs> no, seriously, seriously, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Because she needs to, and am I wrong, right? If you want to build bridges back, you know, and with the public perception of your relationship and your man to look like a man, you can feel about him how you want to feel, but that's the guy you've chose to be married to. Do you get it? Yeah. So you at least on public, you can do what you, like I said, it could be messy at home, but you can in public give your brother the respect because it's hurting him. It is actually hurting him. You see the brother on state. What are you showing off? What are you showing off, fam? The picture I just reference him. Yeah, you get it. It's important. Like, isn't walks I lie? Isn't that a better photo or a better image of his family than a letter from Tupac, fam? I lie. Hey, fuck Jada, bro. I, used I to hear have, it. I, I know. I used to have this exact same energy, if not even worse, bro. I'm tired of what, her, fam. Who's my guy, man? She's I've, the epitome I've, of everything I've, a man I've, should not I've have. I've seen how it's affected him, man. It's, it's mad, bro. You see that they say behind every man is a, is, is, is a, is a strong woman. She's mm -hmm. not that, man. Uh, she's not that. She's a fucking mm -hmm. leech. Not even a leech. A fucking a, 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 a cancer. She's, she, what is she? She's something that eats away at you, bro. Do you get mm -hmm. me? She, she, she doesn't, she doesn't, you see, as 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 a partner, you're meant to pour in your part and pour into your partner, and they're meant to yeah. reciprocate. So you're never empty. She just absorbs, absorbs, okay. absorbs, absorbs, absorbs. Okay, okay. I, I that I agree with you to a certain degree, bro. I I think that with your partner, you're definitely supposed to be positive, supporting, and you know, pour, pour into each other. I'm, you know, I'm learning I'm, and I'm lucky that I have a partner that does the same for me, that believes in me and where I'm going. When I, when I got on, when I got on the, um, the thing today and we were talking about, you know, what's been going on in the week and talking about our cash up, like I'm, because of my partner, because of conversations, because of where I am in my relationship, I have a woman that is helping me build into a stronger version of who I am. You understand what I'm saying? Bro? Likewise. Do you, do you get it? Right. But, at the same time, I feel like Jada isn't a team player, you know? And you it's have not. to play. If you, if, you, if you are in a relationship, you have to be aligned. And, you know, I feel Will has been forced to be the team player. Do you get it right now? And it's just like, okay, it's, you got to give and you got you to gotta take, like you're saying, bro. You know, you got to pour into each other. And I feel like that moment is the first, that photo... That photo right there is the first moment that I've seen Will in a situation that looks like he deserves to be in. Like with the it, the photo is of the loving wife, the kids, the family all around him supporting him. You get it? Because they know, because they know that he's been through the shit. He's been through the ringer. He's just been fucking firm in all this stuff. So I think that she, you know, he, he's at the end of the day, Mandem will say avoid women like Jada, but people grow. And people get better at their bro. No, child she is. Bro, I know, bro. Do you know how many traumatized people there are in this world? 
Do you know how many people that are big age can't deal with normal shit, bro? Bro, she's got a whole flipping therapy te- red table talk thing where she's trying to advise people. I'm not trying to hear that, bro. Bro, Jada is not Fuck the woman. Jada I'm... Pinkett, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Definitely not fuck Jada Pinkett. You got what I'm saying? Definitely not. But I definitely feel, and for Will, I want this for Will, bro. More than, more than, more than I want this for Jada. You get it? Like I want the brother to feel respected and to not have to be strolling up to, even though I loved it, strolling up to comedians and boxing them in the face. Have you seen how comedians have responded to this situation? Have you seen? Let me bro, take all my Will jokes. Smith <laughs> jokes out of my set. Oh. <laughs> fucking opposite, my bro. Like, Andrew Schultz. You know Andrew Schultz, the American I podcast? Like yeah. I, I think he's a bit of a... Anyway, you know. <laughs> um, Can we go past that one and just mention someone else? Okay. Um, tweets on Twitter were initially sort of like, you had all this energy for a comedian on stage who told a joke but and then went in on the august altina alcina thing uh, and then I see, I hashtag, see that. I see yeah bro hashtag cuck will yeah bro that's you know and you're talking about keep my ne- wife's name out your mouth it's like anybody who wants any sort of attention or comedians feel away as well as they're being attacked more than ever for the things that they say in public that people don't approve of you get it there's, there's, there's so many, this is a nuanced situation, bro. I can see, you know, Will's situation. And I guess at the root of it is the relationship between Will and Jada. Do you get it? I got a question for you. Well, I got, I, got, I saw something called the Shade Borough recently. And okay, there was an influencer saying, men mm. be careful of the women who praised Will Smith's action. They will have you catch up in, drama, in a drama. The same women mm. who constantly go on about toxic, toxic man, masculinity yeah. now mm. want men to throw hands at any given moment. Women need to stop this weird obsession. How do you feel about that? I think it's more than just a comment on social media. This thing runs deep. Everybody's relationship is different. They're like fingerprints. You'll never find another one the same. You get it? You can sit down, people can say, you know, even women will sit down and say, oh, you know, I'd love for my man, because they want to feel protected. It's a natural thing, fam. I, I'm not mad at it. Oh, you understand? You know these ones. <laughs> you got you to gotta protect your man, too. Real you, gotta, you can't be having your man give up his freedom. You know what I'm yo, saying? Yo, Endanger himself. You know, Put him in you positions know, to lose here's what he's worked for, putting him in positions to not be there to take care of people he needs to take care of. You know, you know I'm, I'm a big believer in what, um, in this, don't embarrass me out here. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes, sometimes your partner will do things that embarrass you. You get it? But does your partner learn from those things? Because we're not perfect people. Does your partner learn from those things? And are they able to, are they able to maneuver? And that's the thing. And we could sit down here and say, oh, we, you know, we we hate Jada, but Will loves her, fam. So that's moving what, forward, that's what I said, bro. Yeah, yeah forward, I would, we, Will's not tired of her. I am. I hear that. I hear that. But but we could never yeah. do an, We could we could do we could we could never do another sis miss watch ever, and I'd be happy. I'd be happy. <laughs> I a, could never hear about Jada Spin, Jada Pinkett again, and I'd be happy. Yeah, I, I could. You could delete. You could. You could take. The say it off DVD or, or VCR, whatever's in my yard, and keep it. Uh, and I would not, be, I would not no, be disappointed. No, no, no. I'm not nah, being disappointed. Not, not say it off. Yeah. Bro, I'm nah, not, not being disappointed. No, not say it off. Not say it off, bro. No, come, on, come on, let's behave now. Bro. No, bro. Let's behave. Fuck Jada, bro. <laughs> take away <laughs> justice too, bro. <laughs> take all nah, of it. You get what I'm saying? Hey, chill, chill, chill. You can take it all. Chill. I'd be happy. If Thanos went like this and Jada was one of the people, I'd be happy. Chill. You know what? And this is this is the thing, like, I rate Will. I respect Will because it's not easy. And this is what we, we talk. We're black men, bro. We're not, we're, we can't do, like, reality is life ain't perfect. And I keep saying, you know, we see it in Kanye, um, Kim. We see it in, um, it's like, it's, that doesn't mean when you get up, life is going to be perfect. You know them ones there? People have genuine issues, man. And I feel like these moments 
are moments that Jada and Will can use together and can learn about each other. Jada has a lot of accountability she has to look look at in the situations in the role. Like, bro, I, I think her Sorry, say, husband... my frustration isn't directly that her. You see, she reminds me of toxic exes of me and my friends. Do you get it? Is that what see, it is? Bro- you don't it, remember the, 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 the first? Oh do you remember? Do you remember my bro's first breakup? Yeah. Bro. Fucking hell. Do you remember that? Yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember how that one hurt me? <laughs> do you remember how that one hurt me? Yeah. You see, that she is Jada. <laughs> bro, nah. you see, no, no, no. Look at, look at, look at. Nah, she's look not, at, bro. She's Jada, bro. Nah. Look she's at, Jada, bro. Look at books, right? Walks is the sort of brother that he doesn't like his people. Cry, fam. Mm. Girls have made a lot of the man don't cry, man. Nah, man, I'm not hearing that, man. That's why, that's why I don't, we don't like Jada. She's, bro, <laughs> she's the embodiment you, of all these people, I, fam. I, I'm telling you, bruv, about 99.9% of the man them you know have cried over a situation involving a girl. You ever cried? Huh? Bro, he can't admit that. He can't no, admit that. He can't admit that. admit that. You can't admit that. No, you can't bro admit. would know if I have, bro. I haven't. I, I, bro, I've never seen it. It's I'm not, I'm not, to it. I'm not talking about crying out of love or crying out of weakness. I, it could be frustration. It could be anger. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, I'm that. telling you. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's a, it's a deeper thing. You got what I'm saying? It's a deeper thing. And I'm telling you that man, man will sit. Are we here talking about balling or just a, a little tear, like little lump Cry. of throat? Definition of cry, lumpy throat, tear. I'm not talking about uh, like you know what I mean. None of none of that. You get it? Yeah. Nah, not me, bro. Mm. You so, understand? Bro. But listen, listen. It's okay. GM activities over there. But anyway, Please. say less. But, but, listen, but me, no, no. I, I I missed the answer to my question. I just got a jail call. Sorry. I missed it. Jeez. What was the answer? <laughs> bro, I have family Jesus. members in jail, man. Love me. I have free the guys. Free man. the guys, man. Come on. You know what I'm saying, but, but yeah, what was the yeah, answer? What was the answer? Like B9 said, Lee forgot about no, he's, saying, he's saying, F saying no, you got know what I'm saying, but listen, what, 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 what now? I'm saying, is it are we talking like proper balling or are we talking about lump in the throat, maybe a little tear, tear frustration, bro? Yeah, not man's frustration. had that, man's had that. No, not tear, but not, I've never cried, but I've been upset, like proper, what, lump in bro. the throat, and that, yeah, nah, yeah, bro, like, bro, this is what I'm talking about, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man, like. <laughs> We're all human beings, isn't it? And I'm not here for this. You see, as black men, I'm not here for this um, Superman thing. You understand? We're all human beings, bro. People fuck up. People fall on their faces. People do fucked up things to other people. You understand? Mm. But if if Jada in this situation, because I respect Will and I want to, I want to see Jada black men be. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You're right. Hey, I want to. I want for no what? business with her son's bridge, fam. Yo, bro. <laughs> this was, I, is a mad one. <laughs> it's a mad thing, but I want to see Will, because Will has chosen to be with her. I want to see Will happy, bro. I want to see Will respected. You understand? Maybe he's going to get I, used to the unknown and just leave that one there still. The kids are old enough now. You get it? But yeah, I hear you. That's that's entirely that's entirely up to Will. But I will say this, you know, the fi- piece, when we look people. at... Nah, but I will say this this to everybody when you look at a situation you see something frustrating you and you're outside of that situation that's something to do with you something to do with you maybe a fear you have and man them of course we all have that fear of not being respected by our partner fam do you get it mm. being in mm, a situation like nobody play, wants to devil's that. advocate yeah they say the devil you know is better than the angel you don't i you know so what imagine will leaves her ends up with mm. a new girl and she ends up embarrassing him even worse. Like. That's I just something. Like Lee told me a, a, a long time ago off the pod, that's something in the women you go for and you need to address that. Mm. 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 100%. If you're bringing out... And also, some people will go for perfectly... Women who have been perfectly normal in other relationships and bring out something in them as well because of the way you respond to things as well. You get it? Facts. You know? You know, you know how you were saying, Walks, like you've been through situations or you've seen people go through situations and, you know, bro, bro's balling or bro's going. What did you do in that situation that put you in that space? Where were you weak, fam? Do you get it? Where should you 
is a where were you weak? Like not talking to you personally, but the individual who's going through those situations, where were they weak? Where did they not stand up and say, you know what? I shouldn't have walked up to the front of that stage and box, man. What I should have done is brought my wife and said, you see this woman here? I would do anything for this woman here. Bro, and what you're doing, man. He was buying it, her flowers and everything and was talking so, about her and that. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> to this to this day, I don't even remember what the girl looks like, but if you I told remember, me to say, I'll tell I her to suck her Valentine's mom. Day, bro has walked the whole high road, yeah. Lee, mm. you don't know how long our high road is, bro. He does. He does. <laughs> oh, yeah, he do. He does. The whole high road of flowers and that, fam. Mm. I, I think, you see, me, I'm a man... I love my woman, yeah? But the things I do for my woman, I kind of keep to myself. I'm not walking the whole high road with flowers and all this this mad thing. You got what I'm saying? That's a school like, day, isn't it? Ah, that, uh, he's young. That, yeah. that was, bro, he's, that was my he, right hand. Like, we used to do everything together, fam. Like, trust me. Pause. Yeah, but at school days, that's young, man. That's his first experience, isn't it? You know what I mean? No, but she did him wrong still. No, but that that was like the first heartbreak. We That's the all first witness. Yes, that all the man and witness like. Was me, first me, hand. me. At that point, I wasn't. I'd never been in love. I'd never like. I looked at you like man, am I crazy for all of that? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Neither had I, fam. So man, get me like we're all learning from bro. You get me? <laughs> Bro's the first one in a relationship, like a serious one, like serious get? thing. You get like me. me. I'm the emotionally unavailable guy. <laughs> I'm sure S the same. Do you get? It? So. Like, Better see a bro like loved up, and we we, we banter bro and all of these things. Yeah, yeah. but he's he's standing ten toes on his love for mm. for, for girl to do him wrong like right, that. Pun intended, ten toes. But yeah, God carry. <laughs> for girl to do him wrong like that, you get what I'm saying? But yeah, you, man. You know, you if you're if you're anybody like you know what I've realized as well. You man, you're as human beings. I've seen you man, and you're growing as men why for that but you're growing you get it right <laughs> and you start to understand that every no, situation we still are we've got a lot to learn a lot but to yeah, learn still and, and me here i'm walks i like like i'm a much from when you've known me right now today lee is a much calmer guy you know less mm-hmm. triggered less mm-hmm. you understand what i'm saying bro mm-hmm. there's a lot more and understanding that you you kind of have to be kind to yourself bro you kind of have to understand that nobody else's opinion matters. You have to go through shit and hold L's, fam. How are you supposed to stand up as a strong man? You have to go through shit. You have to go through disappointment, treachery, all of these things, fam. But you you survive those situations. You learn from those situations. You also look at yourself and say, you know what? I should have moved like this in that situation. Do you get it? Forgiving yourself is a big part of all of this thing. You get it? And looking at somebody's situation and thinking, I could never or that could never be me, blah, 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 until it's you. Everybody says that until, you know, you've heard you've heard millions of women say, you know, I never thought I could be an, a victim to abuse, but find themselves in situations where they're, they're dealing with the unthinkable, bro. Do you get it? I got so, a question for, for, for both mm-hmm. of you. Sorry, to finish off, finish off. No, 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 go, go for it, bro. So as the big bros of the podcast here, yeah cool mm. is it possible for someone to have no red flags no 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 because no. no one's perfect so if you if you see if you're talking to someone and you spot a couple red flags what you mm. how do you address that um you have to actually go into your past and figure out what your triggers are i guess red flags are triggers they're different for every person so let's say if you deal with a girl and she doesn't really call you yeah maybe for one person that's a red flag for another person who's maybe been with a girl who's been through stuff and she's afraid to call people and afraid to reach out to people maybe that person can understand a little bit of that due to the conversations they've had you get it? It's what's personally a red flag for you individually, because we all have our different triggers. You get what I'm saying? If you look at those, if you look at those triggers and you say, I don't want to be affected by certain things. Right. So I'm working on myself now that let's say things where we would have had conversations before or things you would have said to me, walks that would have triggered me. They won't trigger me today because I'm working on myself, bro. Do you understand? It means I'm becoming a stronger person, G. Do you get it? And acceptance is a big part of that, fam. It's a big part of that, you know, I will hold, hold, hold L's. 
I will go through this, is that, and the other. Yes, you can have someone, you look at your partner and you say, does my, is my partner, what, what is it that my partner does for me? When I look at, you know, on a personal level, re my relationship between me and my girl, I see where me as a man, I'm becoming a better man, fam. Do you get it? I see where I'm inspired to do certain things and maneuver a certain way. You get it? You know, God willing the success of this relationship, but should it no, not go, you know, the, the distance, I can still look at my partner and be grateful for the things that, things I learned. You get it? You know, and I think when you sit down, I, I say to this, right? A relationship should be a space when you really love someone, bro. When you really love someone, a relationship should be a space where they come with their problems and you come with your problems and you can both work them out. Do you understand what I mean? And become better together. Because you're, you're not going to, let's say, you're not going to, because of the issues you have, you're not going to be like, oh, you know, oh, you're, you're a bad person or you're this or you're that and make it a space where your partner is not safe to, to evolve. You get it? Mm. It's like, it should be a thing where, yo, you don't have to do that here. You know them ones there. Mm. Do you get it? And that's real shit. And if somebody loves you, walks, they're going to be like, walks, I don't like the way you do this. And you don't have to do that because I'm not this person. You know them ones there. Do you get it? And that's, that's, that's what I say to that. Red flags, yeah, it's a tough one because some of them things are a big no. For me, if you're, if you're telling me that an immediate deal breaker for me is you entertaining some next bread that I am gone. You get it? I'm gone. I don't have, you understand what I'm saying? This world is, like, a wise man once said it, you know, women are treacherous in this dunya here. You know what I'm saying? You get it? Treacherous. Treacherous, you know? So you have to, yeah, that's, you know that's, what? That's, that's, that's yeah. the, the theme for the second half of the pod still. It's just treacherous. Yeah. Yeah, treacherous. Yeah, definitely. Um, I got a question Boy, for you. Did you not see the Castillo show? Castillo, however you say his name. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I see a clip circling, but I didn't even watch the clip. You but I saw the, the caption talking about yeah, he's talking about his exes or something like that. You saw? You saw yeah. the clip? Me? Yeah. I watched it. Yeah. What's your thoughts on the clip? I think when you're dealing with somebody who has to deal with things in that way, regardless of whether what you respect. Way? For me that hasn't watched it and a lot of other people. Okay. Haven't. You saw the clip, right? I saw so, he didn't. Um, so Castillo talking about talking to a girl that he loves, right? And saying that he had, you know, she's the main. And then there was a couple other things underneath her that he was linking. And then there was a couple things under them that he was linking as well. I mean, like if a you pyramid scheme. <laughs> a what <That's> pyramid scheme? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're saying. And my guy, I gotta say it like you you ha like if you as a man are moving like that, any human moving like that, you you have some shit you need to deal with, bro. Yeah, he's got demons he needs to address. That's not to say he didn't love the girl. He just he has but shit within himself he needs to correct. He needs to correct. That's privately. But then it's another issue to sit down on a show. Mm-hmm further disrespect somebody that you love in that way you understand that's, that's what that's the point of what, what, what they were meant to do to accomplish isn't it like to to air air out because she, she obviously found something out and didn't know the extent of it in it so mm -hmm. yeah but my my my, my oh, at the time they had the conversation they weren't together no okay my issue my obviously he's got a lot of shit wrong with him mm, my definitely. my issue was He's saying to you, he loves you. You're saying, no, mm. he doesn't. That's because you're mm. judging it based on who you are as a person. Of course. And and of how course. you love. It doesn't mean that's how everybody else loves. Do you get it? No, but my G, I, I say this to you, right? right? For a girl to love you, right? For a girl to love you, and I mean your perception of love, what walks deems as love is, right? She's got to be attuned and be like, yo, Walks likes this or he likes that. And mm -hmm. she's got to give you this and that. Yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you got to you, speak my you, love you, language. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This girl, I'm sure part of this girl's love language is loyalty and faithfulness. Do you get it? So she, he can't... No, but part of that comes with feeling loved, fam. How can you... How can you... Like any girl... And, and I think... 
every person who knows who has been in love with someone, you want them to be loyal to you, bro. It's part you of do, love, bro. You do, you do. But we also need to recognize the way we, as men, and women have a hard time accepting this, the way we view sexual shit as men is not the same as the way women... I mean, women do it. Women view it. Do you get what I'm saying? And but remember, remember this thing. Respect. We also, men, we also know that respect is a big thing as well, though. You get it? We know that we want to be respected by our women. I lie. Mm -hmm. So you can't say you love somebody when publicly you kind of disrespecting us, though. Therefore, it wasn't a public thing. Boy, I, I mean, okay, not a public thing, but imagine somebody's laughing at you thinking, ah, oh, rah. You think I could ever let a girl laugh at my thing? No, I'm mad. <laughs> You're mad. Exactly. You're mad. Even if I'm cheating you, you can never have no smoke for her. Never. She tells you to, she says you're gone, you're gone. Never no smoke in your life. You can't hold a fucking candle to her, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I hear that. But does she, you, I'm assuming in your situation, you respect her enough to have her uh, aware of no situation, I'm single. No, but am I assuming in this hypothetical situation, okay, she's okay, aware yeah. of what's going on, right? You understand? She's aware you, you have that sort of relationship with her, right? Whether she is or she isn't, you still can't hold no fucking candle to her. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? Well, then you got to be accountable. Everybody when... in the comments, I am single. I do not have no situations. Leave me the fuck right. alone. I hear that, but you you got to be accountable Why did you if she that starts. <laughs> <I'm fucking laughs> you got to be accountable if the way she loves you changes if she finds out. You understand? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I hear that. No, nah, I, I agree with you. I'm, I'm just saying. The reason most of the more, more time is because you're expecting people to view certain things the way you as a human view it. Mm. And we're just talking about sex. Mm. Men, unless you... A blanket statement is, unless you're, you've got some internal demons, the women cannot just have sex freely. Whereas men can. I'm sure that... I know men them that are jeet things, they don't remember their name. They, nah, they there's Gad. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, but there's, there's Gad like that. that. Oh, no, nah, there is. There's yeah, gallet, bro. There's, there's like that, <laughs> bro. But would you say they're, they're complete people that don't need therapy? But same with the man, them. Oh, would you say same the man, them don't need it either? Then? Yeah, same with the man, them. It's us, isn't it? <laughs> no, I'm not involved. It's <laughs> us, isn't it? <laughs> it's a double stuff. Bro, bro, no, don't do that because me and you are the same, isn't it? Oh, boy. Me and you are the same, isn't it? So, we're both but, well behaved but, lads. You get what I'm saying? But it's a, it's a, we know men. Your average man and your average woman is different. And for women, their needs, you know, I feel like women need to feel a connection. You get what I'm saying? That's what but I'm saying. Are, Me. But there are times when women also want an itch scratched. You get I, it? I, 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 I hear that. All right, cool. Lee, oh, wow. in, your, in your lifetime, yeah, you've had friends with benefits, right? Of course. Have of you course. ever caught feelings to those friends with benefits because of the sex? No. Nope. I've never personally experienced that. Nope. But every friends no. with benefits I've but, had over time have had to distance but, themselves because no. of it. Okay, no, but but my G, right? I say this. I also had friends with benefit situations and I learned very early through my sisters and through things I saw other people do, not to disrespect my friends with benefits. I right? don't disrespect them. No, and, treat them like... And, they, again, yeah. they're your friends, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got to remember like, yeah, respect they, them. I've, I've always like all right i'm thinking about it in this in in terms of this year mm. people will more likely disrespect their relationship than they will disrespect friendships yeah which 100%. is fucked up so now you're saying friends with benefits of course you're going to value your friend you know what i'm saying yeah definitely you have to you have to but also in that like you have you know i do know with in these friends with benefit situation i grew to care about these people so it means I that, can't cheat no yeah. one I don't care about, but I don't I, mean yeah. I like you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you mean you mean that it don't mean that I'm in I love you the way I would love a romantic partner. You get yeah, it? Yeah, man, man care about you but, in the team. Like if if you're hurt, yeah. man's gonna be there. You're my friend. You get it? Exactly. 
there's been situations where a girl I was linking, someone was trying to set her up with something in it and oh. do run something, run something on our accounts. And it's just like, you can't do that. You can't do that. You get mm-hmm. it? You can't do that. Like that's, it's not a, that's not going to happen. You get what I'm saying? And I said to her, and I said to her, no, nah, give me the phone. What's going on? They're not taking, you get what I'm saying? You're connected I'm saying, to me. It's I'm your friend. friend. It's your friend. <laughs> yeah, it's your friend. It's your bedroom. You get me? Come on, man. It's your bedroom, so, fam. It's, so that's, that's basic. That's basic friendship. That doesn't mean anything to do with feelings or anything like that. Do you get? I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. you but know what I'm also, you're right, you're right in an aspect of like, I also know that going through these situations, these friends with benefits, they caught feelings. You get it? You know, I and I never, I never had that that issue. Mm. No, no, no. Like, never had the issue of a friend with benefit catching feelings for you. Oh no, 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 no. That way around. I like, mean, not catching feelings for them. I've never had that issue. Mm. I personally has never had that issue. I just grew to care about them as human beings, and that's it. You know what I mean? That's it. But yeah, Gala treacherous. And I think that's the, the, the basis of this story time that F has convinced me to talk about. And I'm going to need your help along this story time because I don't know how... Oh, shit. How, how, <laughs> how far into the story, what ta- I don't know what... So you're going to have to like kind of coax me along this journey. Like, well, you get it. Um, so, where do we start? <laughs> Your story, my guy. Where do you want to start? No, I need help, bro. Where do we start? Because this is. Do we start about? I don't. I don't know where to start, bro. I don't know where to start. Cause there's 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 there's, there's more multiple facets to the story. Do you get? Do you talk okay, about? A... I mean, what happened first? Time lapse. Let's just do it the, what, chronologically. What? So we, are we getting? Actually, wait. Hold on. Leading up to that better... point. Were there red flags and did you see the red flags and look past them and you get me? Oh yeah, I must saw bare red flags and look past them right show. Yeah. Okay, yes. Men's obviously First thing, you know, red flags. Oh yeah, Lee what don't even know Lee don't even know what we're talking about, so you get me. So do we tell Lee or do we lead up to where we get that tell nah, Lee? No, you gotta explain everything to Lee, bro. So 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 we don't tell him the end the end part of the story yet? No no no. Okay, no. cool. Yeah, you're yeah. leading up to this. I'm seventeen. Mm-hmm. I think yeah, I'm 17. Oh, this is a mad story, you know. I'm just deep in it. Cool. BBM days. Oh, you get okay. me. BBM Facebook days. You know, it's all popping. Um, for those who know that Blackberry Messenger, Black Messenger, like, so yeah. Messenger for you, you new, um, for you new generation, you 16 going on 17. Da, 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 da. Um, a very promiscuous. No, not a promiscuous like, cause I, I'm I'm a verbalist. I'll just flirt. Do you get what I'm saying? I won't link you or type thing or. You get me? I'm just the guy that likes to know that he can get gal. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm that ego guy. take. Yeah, Jeez. I'm that guy. Cool. So yeah. I have this girl on my Facebook. I ask her age. She says she's two years younger than me. I'm like, oh, whatever, mm. go away. Mm. The, 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 I don't talk to her again. Bear in mind, and this whole time, yeah, I've got another girl on my BB, some, 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 some nice thing. You get what I'm saying? I'm chatting to her and that. I've told her my name is Ramel, because these times you don't want to, you don't want your be a real name to be bait out here. Do you get what I'm saying? I've told her <laughs> oh, my, my name is Ramel. I know, I know. Cool. <laughs> Time's flown, yeah. This girl pops up on my Facebook again. Now, I'm on my Facebook looking for things. I've found this girl's Facebook again, that. But my, there's no message history, so I thought I've never spoken to her, that type thing. Do you get it? I'm like, to, how old is she? Yeah. She said she's my age. Got the BB, da 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 da. Just had her on BB. I've said something about, on my story about, Yaks, in it, we've called them yaks back in the day. Oh, on your status, yeah. And she's messaged me, she's like, What well, And she's argued with me about my choice of wording about yaks. I'm like, Hmm, triggered. No, no, no girls ever, you get me like challenged, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay, Bro, you're right. different. I'm, 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 I'm a forward back for you, you get <laughs> cool. Ended up talking for, for time, you get linked her. She, she says she's from West London, isn't it? 
Mm. But her aunt is in Leicester. Mm. So she used to be staying at, that summer, she used to be staying at her aunt Isa would take the train down to Leicester, get the last train back. Do you get what I'm saying? Red mm-hmm. flag. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Wait, why is that red flag? Because she ain't about like that. Okay. You live in Man West London, come. you're always coming from Leicester. Okay. But me, I don't leave Tottenham. So it's not... Like, I'm going to go to your bit anyway. Mm, Do you get what that, I'm saying? That's how it was growing up. We never I don't leave the ends. ends. So I'm not going to your bit. You're going to come link me. Do you get what I'm saying? Cool. Linking it. Someone's... One of her... Someone, someone around her said, yeah, she's two years younger than me. And I'm just like, bro, stop joking like that. Da, 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 da. That's, that's cap, whatever. Da, da, da. Fast forward... We've, we've, we've had an argument. She's done all the manipulation tactics. I'm going to kill myself, da, 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 whatever. And a, an argument serious enough has happened, let has me, occurred. Let me interject, mm-hmm. yeah? We're not just brushing over this as a pod. You know what I'm saying? This is a past experience. This lady is fine. Oh, um, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Yeah. And if you she ever fine. deal with those, please use Google, man. Run. Yeah, let's... Um, okay. So, yeah... Fast forward, we've had another argument. I've blocked her and everything. She's like, cool. See you in eight months. Is that how she dropped it? You know when BB, when you block someone, yeah, so yeah. they send you that red message, the pin thing. She sent, yeah, she sent that. She's like, see you in eight months. I'm in my front room. I've just put my food down in the slap. So, <laughs> you know, left it a couple of days, had to tell Mumsy Pops. Da, 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 da. Ended up talking again. I'm asking to go uh, to How scans. long after was this? What do you mean? Did you not end up talking again since she said, see you in eight months? Obviously, someone springs that on you. You're going to try like, well, what do you mean? See you in... You're trying to find out what's going on. She says she's mm-hmm. pregnant. Cool. Mm-hmm. You're trying to figure out I've even skipped something. Remember the, this 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 girl I was talking to, the the the, the one that I told my name's Ramel. Mm. I've bucked the girl that I'm seeing, and I'm on her phone, and I've seen, I've seen our guy Bervel in the phone. I'm like, how do you know? Him? R.I.P. Bervel. I'm like, how do yeah, you know? She's like, ah, oh, he knows my friends. Do, do, do. So I've asked him one time. How do you know? Boom, 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 man. He's like, I don't. Like, I've seen her around, bro. Like, I've seen her in, like, mixed circles and that, but I've never really spoken to her. I'm like, what do you mean? I've seen text messages between you two, like. Jesus. So he's lying. He's like, nah, I don't know. I like that. I don't. So, so, so just remember that. We'll, we'll come back to that later, innit? Fuck, yeah, <laughs> just remember that part, yeah? Yeah. Cool. So... I'm trying to go to scans and these type of things. She, there's arguments happening, so I can't go to scans, but she's sending scan pictures. Da, 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 da. Um, it's got to the point where someone, a mutual friend of ours, has told me she's, she's, she's had the baby premature. And she sent me baby pictures. I remember that, yeah. She sent me baby pictures. Mm. I'm sending it to my pops and that. People are in here like, oh, you look got the same nose and that. You got what I'm saying? Family are getting invested. Bro. So. Bro, you know what? Before you even finish walks, I kind of can understand a little bit about the outcome. I'm sure everybody in the comments at this point. I just want to say I'm really sorry that happened to you, bro. I uh, life. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so it's got that's, to the that's... point where I'm I'm on Twitter one day, and this girl, remember the girl that I that 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 um that I was chatting to before. 
oh, I've missed a key point. When I first started talking to the, the one I'm chatting to, the one that's got pregnant, she's like, what's your name? I've told her my real name. She's like, ain't your name Ramel? Another red flag that I didn't clock. Mm. So remember Ramel was the, the name I gave to that the other thing, the, the nice thing that, that I was chatting mm-hmm. to just never went anywhere. Cool. Mm. One day I'm on Twitter and then obviously I've dropped out the girl because I don't think she's telling the truth about the pregnancy and that. You get it? Mm. This 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 um this girl that I've originally spoken to that I told my name is Ramel, she's on Twitter trying to draw me out with my baby mom. Like acting girls mm. that I'm chatting to like he's a deadbeat dad, da 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 da. I'm just on Twitter like, oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Mm. The only one that's defending me is the one you're telling me to did you get? Yeah. What one? The one we had the conversation about. I sent you the conversation about. Okay. She's the only one that's defending me so, right uh, now. Do you get it? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That's happening. I'm getting corn <laughs> on Twitter. Getting corn. I'm just staring at my laptop like. I'm in a maze. Then, we're going to call this, this, this girl Sarah, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Sarah's messaged me on the next account like oh my god I'm so sorry da, 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 da. your baby mom's using a fake account with my pictures to, to, to oh. get at you yeah so yeah. now it's all clicking because you're the fake account that was that Berber was chatting to did you get it? and that's why you think my name's Ramel did you get it? Mm. cool Got the baby pictures in that. Anyway, long story short, come to find out it's her auntie's door. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not my you, it's her auntie's door. And the name her auntie's daughter has, which is her cousin, is the name mm. I was going to name my daughter. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. That's, that's a scattered brain, because this is over 10 years ago of what happened. Yeah. Boy, yeah. Gala Treacherous. Yeah, that's 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 <laughs> wild. Um, that's tapped behavior. I've been through, I've been through something similar, but not that deep. You know, I've been yeah. So she similar. was from Leicester, and she's two years younger than me. Oh, so mm-hmm. she actually was. Yeah. That, yeah, that's 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 wild. That's wild. Um, like I said, I'm sorry you had to go through that, bro. Um, we and live and we learn, yeah, bro. Live and you learn, man. So we don't what trust these souls. Come saying, listen, man. She That's crazy. Yeah. She got exposed on Twitter for doing this to someone else. After, oh my oh, god, bro. she needs help. She lied about mm. someone raping her. That's not. That's not even funny. She actually rumors. needs. She's better yeah. than certain fam. Yeah. Let's hope. Let's hope she's got the help. You know I, mean? I don't think she, she did. I mean, so I mean, there's a lot of people claiming that you have to, um, you know, that therapy and people need to talk to somebody and blah, blah, but can't do the same things themselves. You know what I mean? Which is nuts, man. It's, it's actually nuts. But I will say, man, you know, it's it shaped your experience, isn't it? And that's why Walks is here saying, you know, women are treacherous because he's <laughs> experienced him that women are treacherous you get nothing but treachery <laughs> but it's a man you from know i you understood roll. what love is nothing but treachery from bro to me to back to bro <laughs> treachery but, but you also have to look at the men around you as well you know women aren't just that you understand right Why but, are you I must, I, <laughs> but i must I look at the men right around me what's going on Bec- not on a white thing but they have women in their lives. I was even actually, thinking about that, bro. <laughs> but carry on. But they do have women in their lives that, you know, care about them and that are good for them, you know? You got what I'm saying? So, you know, don't... It's my don't idol just, right here, you know? Listen, you got what I'm saying? Don't just cling on to... No, no, you know, no. With the negatives. When man's dealing with gyal, man think, what would F do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're such a fool. Do you think I'm joking? My last relationship, I was like, what would F do? <laughs> On God, towards the end, I was like, what would F do? A real talk, yeah? 
you see, I look at my brothers, yeah, and I look at how they move in it. I look at walks when it comes to business and how to maneuver. Walks is a very mature guy, you know. That's so. something that's, and I say this, you know, on the last episode of the pod when we were like, Oh, um, I look up to you and I look up to F certain ways you get it. When it comes to relational things, F is a guy I can look at and say, You know, he knows how to deal with things because he sees things differently. You've been been through those things, so let them just and he's the just, married one, so I can't even look at him strange no more. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Obviously, you know? when it comes to the gym, like we just gotta look at Lee, like yo, it's mad. Looking like he's in the Incredibles right now with a red T-shirt. <laughs> he's gonna wear his, his incredible suit. <laughs> Why you finna call him role play Lee and that? Oh, Come on, <laughs> what are you saying? We're gonna see you in the Incredibles on, on on Halloween and that. Nah, nah, we keep my personal, personal G. You know them ones there. You know what I'm saying? Man said on Halloween, maybe with my kids. Maybe, maybe, yeah, double S, you don't know. Listen, maybe with my maybe with my kids, I dress up as Mr. Incredible or whatever. You never know. You know what I'm saying? If they, oh, we want you to be the, the, this year. You know what I mean? It would happen. And then there may even be a, I don't know whether there'd be a photo floating about of me walking down the road as Mr. Incredible, but I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. I don't know why that was brought into the chat, but hey. Hey, you know man, this is, this is, I think, been our longest pod yet. Do you get what I'm saying? Some, some, we didn't even get through the topics he was meant to get through by his way. I don't mind, man. I ain't got to edit this shit anyway. <laughs> hey, F was happy when you said it's a Zoom, it's a Zoom call. <laughs> happy. But yeah, man, a lot of topics we were, we were passionate about today. Yeah, you get me? Being Smith watch for Lee. Being treachery for me. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Bros dealt with a lot of treachery as well, but we'll get into that another time. Fucking hell. Yeah, you get me? See, Walks is a very guarded person. People, you have to understand that. Uh, you know? see, do you, uh, do you think I'd, I'd, I'd detach for no reason? <laughs> no, no, definitely. For, no, for, for we'll, your own reason. We'll, we'll get our other bro. He's got stories for days still. Whatever, bro. When it comes to women. Oh, the same one we was talking about? <laughs> yeah. Oh, bro. <laughs> He's got stories for days. Oh, bro. You'll have see why I think. No, not no, yet. No, not yet. You'll, you'll see, you'll see what we met his brother unexpectedly, by the way. Yeah, we actually met his big brother. We told you that story, Lee. We spoke about it on the pod still. We well, met his brother out of who's got bar shoes. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. crazy. Yeah, he... But yeah, man, um, you know, thank you for tuning in. Episode, I believe, 27. Big up, Fazzle, you get me each and every time, man. Come to on. my left, I've got. F aka Fuckery Lane, you get me? Yeah, outside. System. <laughs> Only. Okay. That another name. All right, all right. AKA My System. <laughs> <laughs> My right, guy. Lot, but big up you lot for tuning in every week, man. We appreciate you lot, man. Trust me. Thank you for listening to my scatterbrain story that kind of, <laughs> I didn't even know I was going to talk about today, but bro said talk about it. My dad's going to be watching the pod like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's one person I could never, ever go back to, you know? Uh, like, you know, there's been times that me and just been cool and talking. My mom, my mom and dad would be like, drop that the fuck out, bro. Mm. Drop that mm-hmm. the fuck out. Like, Do you listen to them? We don't speak no more. Mm. She, she's a bit weird. She used to try to speak to people that I know you get it. Bro. you know like that like mm. you know you know you know that's my guy but you wanna mm. you wanna do you, you wanna try and hit my man up for double s yeah. i don't know if you know that he told me but you know he got the green light anyway but it's life <laughs> jesus christ you can't you can't you can't you can't have attachments to these one man you they know for what? everybody they for everybody yes son but yeah, man, Chain Reaction Podcast, myself, Pro by Walks. I need to stop referring to myself as that. Blue Tick Boy. F, aka Fakri. Lead to the VI, lead to the GM, Role Pay Lee. Lead to the yeah. Bag Juice. Jesus Christ. Big up Fazzle, and yeah, we out. We need a name for Fazzle, though. Any suggestions, put them down. Tomorrow, below. Fazzle. Huh? Tomato fazzle. <laughs> man said tomato, you know. Gotta be something technical, man. Technical. What that wasn't technical. a good one. Guys, any names I... for fazzle? Put them down. Tomato basil, tomato fazzle. That wasn't a good one. 
I mean, I'm, I'm thinking because he more deals with the technical stuff, you know what I mean? So I'm technical, you know what I mean? Okay, 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 okay. All right, say no more, man.